hiking the trail so when you get done you can be more fit and have more fun with the grandkids. That's what today's all about. Well, good morning, everyone. I'm here with Arnie. <clears throat> She's setting out from Virginia 6.30 this morning at Sinking Creek, going to uh, Virginia 621 at uh, Craig's Creek. Everybody have a blessed day. Get out and hike. Beautiful little stream over here to the left. Beautiful day again. Helping to make up for all those dozens of cold, windy, rainy, snowy, sleety <laughs> days we had back there in the beginning. That's a distant memory now. Pretty little stream. Let's roll on up that hill. You know, you watch the videos on this and there is no way you can tell how big this tree is. Realize none of us ever show the back side of this tree. There it is. One, two. Just be sitting in a coffee shop somewhere watching the news, even if I am tired. Into the woods. Whoo, buddy. We are on a tough, steep climb here. Definitely doing 100 feet up in a tenth of a mile. Ever how many tenths we're doing? Not many. And then it'll slope off a little bit, but we're doing it one step at a time. Yep, it's about 30 or 28, 12 to 32, 19, 400 feet in four tenths of a mile approximately. So that is the bum kicker. As I've said, pushing your muscles when you're tired is a great way to get stronger, force them to build muscle. You heard them? Birds are singing, singing, singing. So this is the gift. The steep hill was normal. <laughs> That's the way we're going to look at things. Nice trail so far. We'll take it. shelter 0.4 miles down that hill. That a shelter is the next one we come to and 7.3 to Route 621 which is where we're going today. Well everybody gets here. They look up there and they look around here and they think surely the trail goes that way. And finally, somebody's put some boards up, some logs up, and said, that's not the way, folks. It's up here. So, rock climbing time. through that over that and now we have a bunch of these just a bunch I mean a bunch they also give you an awesome view you get the slant why don't I remember this one cross 
and my shoes are holding great. Doing great. Great traction. Am I in New Hampshire? Have I been transplanted? Gorgeous. Watch your feet. Nice view. And you know what that means? The view? More of these. Yep. We're walking across that. Don't get your knickers all in a twist. We'll make it. Cool looking tree right there. Right in the center. Well, first of all, this is like the fifth person in two days to pass me wearing ultras. <laughs> What's your trail name? I'm Shelter Dog. Shelter Dog. Do you mind being on YouTube? I do not. Great. And you like your ultras? Yeah, I do. Great. They've handled all these rocks we've had to deal with? Yeah, they've, they've treated me well, so no complaints. Good. Yeah. Well, um, you're headed to Katahdin, I take it? I am. Great. Yeah. Well, good luck to you, and I'm going to video you down this rock, if you don't mind. Yeah, I appreciate that. All right. Thanks. Yeah. Have yeah. a good hike. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Young, strong, fit. They just take it like it's, you know, nothing. <laughs> yeah, great. Us older ones, we take it a little slower. <laughs> You know, my positivity was about to go south if we didn't run into some good trail. Decent trail for a while. Starting out with really tired muscles. That was pretty hard today, but it was great. Um, I'm glad that that's behind me. I don't think we have any more ledges today. And I've been dreading that. So, needless to say, it wasn't as hard this year as it was last year. Because I am in better condition, more fit and um, got shoes that are helping protect the bottom of my feet better. Enjoying the low tops versus the high tops. All of the above. So today is definitely going to build more muscle as soon as I get a, a day to rest and give it time to catch up. So let's head on down the trail. I'll tell you what I'm thinking today. If you're going to hike the Appalachian Trail, if you're going to walk on this trail, 2,190 miles, and if you're going to try to walk, you know, straight through, even if you, like, flip-flop or whatever, but keep walking until it's done, and you're walking day in and day out, you know, taking your Nero's and your Zero's when you have to, to take care of things you have to take care of, and take care of your body, getting off from time to time just to rest if you have to, depending on your fitness level, your age. It's hard. <laughs> I mean, it is really, really hard. What your body gets put through, and I don't care if you have a $500,000 motorhome and a little car person following you around, picking you up at every single trailhead or every single place you stop and you get to go in and sit in a jacuzzi tub at night every night hiking this trail is hard if you keep going and you keep going and you keep going and you keep going and you're walking and you're walking and you're walking and you're walking no matter what kind of sleeping arrangements you have no matter what kind of vehicle assistance you may have no matter what kind of trail angel help you may have Hiking this trail is hard on your body. And it's a real feat to keep going mile after mile after mile after mile. Especially when you start hurting to the degree that your body starts hurting from time to time. Especially if you have any kind of disability, weakness, physical limitation, or just being older, period, and your body's older. Can't count lickety-split, 
she has some kind of a genetic defect and her 63 year old body is I think it's actually only about 30 I don't know <laughs> but everybody but her and people like her and there are other people like her whose bodies just stay really really strong and fit throughout their lives which is great I'm so happy for them but for those of us and for those of you out there who are older and you feel older physically you might not feel older mentally I still feel, shoot, I think I feel 10 mentally sometimes. Just 10-year-old wonder out here. But at least I definitely feel 20, 25, adventurous. But physically, you know, I have an older body that's been through a lot. Had a lot of orthopedic things in addition to the sickness I had. It wasn't really sickness, it was just medication reaction, as it turns out, for those six years. But still, I was sick. But then, you know, all the orthopedic issues, back, knees, feet. Look at that rock and the layers. Huh, very interesting. Kind of looks like you're out west. So this is not complaining or, I mean, what I'm saying is if you can get out here and hike this trail, if you can hike 300 miles, if you can hike 50 miles, if you can hike 2,190 miles, whatever it is, it's hard. But it is so worth it to me. I just keep reminding myself, and right now especially, I mean, I was back there moaning down a hill. <laughs> this very slight grade downhill with a few rocks in the trail. A dream come true, right? A gift. And I'm moaning because I'm hurting so bad. But anyway... <laughs> It's just, I know that I'm going to be stronger in a few days. There is the night day shelter. There you go. Fire grate. Table. Lots of camping here. This is what a nice new moldering privy looks like. Being fit and strong is very important to me. And it always was until I, you know, went through that really rough time. And that just, it got me down, it beat me. And so now I'm back up and I'm trying to get back. It's like the lady I met who's coming back from having uh, been really, really sick and just wants to get herself back, the person that she was before she got sick. And that may be partly what it is with me. I want the person back that I was before I got sick. Because that person just was so active and loved to go and do things. And, um, yeah. She was a lot of fun. Definitely be a lot of fun for grandkids. So, if I can walk 2,190 miles on this trail, as hard as it is, no matter however many days of zeros I have to take, I think that that person will have been restored, the person that I was before I got sick. And that will make this all worth it. Absolutely make it all worth it. So there's the soul searching for today, folks. It's worth putting yourself through stuff that is so very hard if the gain at the end has value. And being a more fit, active person again, to me, has value. So let's keep going so we can get this body to where when I'm back in town and I'm trying to hang out with those very active and energetic grandkids, I can have fun. All right. Hiking the trail so when you get done, you can be more fit and have more fun with the grandkids. That's what today's all about. It's funny, I'm seeing this little trickle of water and it makes me want to take off my shoes and soak my feet. <laughs> guess they do hurt a little bit. So all complaining aside, folks, this has been a really good day from several standpoints. One, I've been able to push through hurting from the beginning, being tired muscles from the beginning. Ten and a half miles total, not a huge amount of miles, but hard miles from the beginning. With that steep uphill to that ledges, to the rocky trail, to the rocky, rooty downhills. 
And we're on our last mile now, just about, which is pretty much just abnormal, I guess we'll call it now. Gently sloping downhill, few roots and rocks and stuff, but nothing to speak of compared to the rest of the day. So muscles have had a pretty extreme workout, and that is a good thing. So anyway, been a very good day. I'm very happy with today. Early on, I wanted to call it a bad day, but you can't quit on a bad day, you know, so I was like, I guess I should say I can't quit today because this really is kind of a bad day on my body. But I feel a lot better now. Of course, the pain medicine that I took kicked in and I still hurt, don't get me wrong, everything hurts, but it hurts within reason now. Left knee I taped and it has truly helped that pain that I was having under the patella in the front of the knee. So I did that tape. You can see it on YouTube, how to tape a knee. I use KT tape. Anyway, they put the anchor across below the knee and then one goes around the inside and one goes around the outside. And they say it's real important to get it right or it doesn't work. So I guess I must've gotten it right because it's working. So I'm hoping that if I do that on the right knee also, that it'll help this meniscus area, medial meniscus area pain that I'm having. It's the kind of pain that it doesn't just hurt, but you know that if you're not careful, you could turn pain into injury. Does that make sense? Makes sense to those of you who've experienced stuff like that. So I just know I need to be careful. I got this great, almost level trail, just slightly sloping downhill. I could really book it on this, but there are some roots in it and some rocks and I could twist that knee if I'm not careful. So I'm just gonna take it easy this last mile and I protect the knee. So folks from Should You Love and I, we hope you have a blessed evening. I wanna thank everyone again who's hanging in there with me and uh, going on this little adventure with us. Thank you for all your comments. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And uh, everybody have a blessed evening. Don't forget to get out and hike.